Now at six, a man who lived his life helping others is being remembered by his friends tonight. He did so much for his community and sadly he passed away this month. Our Heather Lee shows us what being a real life superhero really meant. So here we are out on patrol. He called it his gimmick, that spandex suit and bright blue boots. Yeah, I've had a few close calls, prevented a few muggings. But for Dale Popel, his caring nature and instinct to help wasn't just an act. One of the big things that he would do is uh, is helping the homeless. Although he did prefer looking cool while doing it. I wish I had a magic watch like Johnny Sacco or something where I could push the button and my gimmick would magically appear. Born from a love of comic books and pop culture, Dale was a real life superhero. He was always so, you know, larger than life. He was always so happy in his online interactions. He loved visiting sick kids in hospitals and hopping in his supermobile looking for drivers stranded on the side of the road in need of help. There was a car that was flipped over like in a, uh, a ditch or a pond and him and his wife were in the car and he pulls over really quick and hops out of the car and literally dives underwater into the pond to try and, you know, see if there's anybody in the car that needs to be safe. Tony Armour became fast friends with Dale 20 years ago and recently took footage he collected over the last decade to create a documentary that would go on to win 25 film festival awards around the world. After, you know, the sort of our festival run and everything, he always told me that um, the film was his legacy. And that's the, the last thing that he texted me as well. Dale took his own life two weeks ago. Every time I see somebody in need now, the first thing I'll think of is Dale and what would Dale do? Can't wrap my head around that he's gone. Armour wants to put a mural up somewhere, honoring his friend, spreading a message of hope and highlighting the importance of suicide prevention. The Crisis Center of Tampa Bay says if you are struggling, reach out to someone you trust and talk about it or call the National Suicide Prevention Hotline at 1-800-273-TALK. Heather Lee, ABC Action News.